Good morning. Today is September 13, 2022. Now, the last two games I showed you was very bad for me. And, you know, I basically was really off in my game. But today, I have a very interesting game over here for you. It's very fun game. So, let me show you the two queens right here. If you can see over there. Yeah, there are. Two queens right there, see? Two, two promoted queens right there. And I give up a piece of for it. And it's not a short combo. It's a very long combo. It's it's a very, very long combo. The origin, uh, the piece of sacrifice is on move 16, I believe. And look, it's move 43 over here. Move 43 that I get at the queens. So it's very interesting, very fun. With that in mind, let's get started. Now, uh, three position, three passes position. First one is oops, the first one is this one right here. What has just moved the pawn to g5? What is the best move? All right. Yep, that's it. So, white has just pushed the rook to h1 position. What is the best move? Alright. The knight has just moved to e4. What is the best move? All right, this is the first move. Let's begin. Not a good move, right? <laughs> so I like this kind of game. It's very fun. It's very fun to play, and very very fun to play. This is this is the kind of move I do sometimes. And of course, the trick is to do this kind of fun move and still win. And that's not easy. But it's really nice to do. It's really fun to do. And already you can see the queens threatening check over there. So the threat over here is that the pawn could have picked this one and suddenly queen and bishop move there very strong. Next move. That's kind of a conservative move, defensive move, waiting move. It's not something that's, you know, aggressive. That's aggressive move over there. The, the pawn move over there is really aggressive. You can start seeing how white has no pawn over there. That means castling is going to be a bit problematic for white over here. So, excuse me. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, casting is going to be problematic for what? This promises to be a very fun game. Next move. Mm -hmm. And person. Uh -huh. Very good move. By white over here. And that's lock the position over there. It does have a set effect of basically boxing the knight and unless the bishop is moved somewhere else, that knight's not going to go anywhere. So again, this is a very good skillful play by white and thanks to my extremely defensive move, white has an advantage over here. Next move. Ah, uh, that's a mistake. Uh, the net is basically is in good position to let the king castle and then maybe move the rock somewhere else over there. So that's a mistake. Uh, 
and whoa, what do you know, suddenly the pawn becomes a liability. And this is a very interesting move. I guess my idea for here is to challenge the bishop and then take that one while keeping the pressure solid. So over there, so I guess that's my idea over there. And I was not prepared for white next move, which is this one right here. And I see attack twice. Defended once, attacker wins. So that's what I did. Three pawns. Whoops. Uh, just shut off over there suddenly. It's got attacked twice. And this is the first puzzle. So, right, so, so this is the first puzzle. And the right answer to this puzzle is this one right here. Bishop takes pawn. So, White has just given two points for free in exchange of strong attack over here. Of course, that's not what I do. And suddenly, attack twice, defended once, attacker wins. I just give away free piece of right here. Move on move 15 over there. I just give away free piece of, and of course, I'll, by move 16, White just took it, uh, and boom, boom. I lost one bishop. So that's the bishop sacrifice. I suppose I could have called this bishop odds or something, or bishop sacrifice. But of course, that's not the point of this game. The point of this game is one bishop over here for two queens. So, next move. I'm getting a pawn, but the truth is having a piece up what is happy to exchange pieces? And there you go, just exchanging pieces after pieces after pieces. And just keep maneuvering. And at this point in time, the position is has been stabilized in that what has lost the peace advantage? What I do not have in bishop in a material gain, I gain in positioning. The knight and rooks still not doing anything. The knight here is being stuck by here and here. Also, about any possibilities, but you get three points over here. So, it's not good over there. So, not good for white, basically. So, peace activity by white has been cut down to near zero. But the only thing white has is this rook. And a single rook cannot do anything. So, so we'll see what happens what, over there. The original bishop is lost on move 16 right here. And now we are at move 24, 8 moves and what and fairness has been gone so this is really fun game i like this game a lot this is why i don't like games that that is perfect you know play perfect game i want to play a perfect game well no i do not want to play a perfect game because it's not fun this is fun next move And finally, what has got the idea that maybe it should move the pieces of the back rank, all right? <laughs> so, all right, so, so start, start, so white start counter attacks here, over here, start, let's start counter attacking here. Should have done it much earlier than that. Next move. And that's being attacked twice, defended once. Now he's defended twice. And the king starts to move again. White should have done this much earlier than this one over here. 
But that's the problem with having a material advantage. Sometimes you get careless. So just because you win a piece doesn't mean you automatically win. You have to earn it. Uh, it may interest you to see that maybe, you know, I do not push it over here, push the pawn over here, and just another way. But if I do that, you know, there will be no follow up. So, next move. Uh, <laughs> and this is the second puzzle right second puzzle right here second puzzle here is basically what is the best move and basically this is just either here or here you know the answer to that this one is protected this one is not protected if i move over here that's attack twice defended once so this is not the right move therefore the right move is this one right here And suddenly the knight cannot attack the pawn anymore. So, next move. And now that uh, the pawn is no longer there, that can be attacked by the knight, this pawn is free to move. So, next move. Again, what is being a piece up? It is happy to change, like to exchange the pieces. But you know, if it takes attacks a little bit uh, night, you know that's going to be problematic if I take it with the rook over here. So can have to push it over there. And at this point in time, this position. Black is winning, right here. This is the third puzzle, and black is winning, right here. Now this is a last trick over here, if black takes rook, promoted to queen, knight takes queen, and basically the king will have to move over here. Meanwhile, the king can move over there. So, white is going to be able to exchange the pawn and rook for the knight, basically. That's what happened. Of course, black also has the pawn over here. And there's no way white can stop it. So it could have been three queens. But at this point in time, I saw the mini move anyway. So, so this one, it doesn't matter, this is queen number one. Unfortunately, queen didn't get to do anything before it got taken by the rook, but this is queen number two. Put the knights to safety, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Because, you know, I can move here, check, and if the king moves here, rook goes here, check, and the king will have to uh, go away someplace, in right? Yeah, it that cannot check it. So, so at this point in time, what is completely lost? So, what we say, and I mean, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.